Nikolai Davidenko was critical of Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal's current rivals in a damning assessment of the ATP Tour. Carlos Alcaraz and the next generation of tennis stars have been criticized for being weak by a former pro. Nikolai Davidenko reflected on the 2022 tennis season and claimed that Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal had been able to continue winning Grand Slams because of their poor competition in a brutal assessment, as he questioned Alcaraz's latest injury. Djokovic, Nadal and Alcaraz were the only Grand Slam champions this season as the 36-year-old Spaniard started the year by winning the first two majors for the first time in his career before the World No. 5 won Wimbledon and the 19-year-old lifted his maiden Grand Slam trophy in Flushing Meadows. But one of Djokovic and Nadal's old rivals believes it shows the weakness in the rest of the ATP Tour. Former world No. 3 Davidenko slammed the state of the men's tour as he said the 36- and 35-year-olds were still stronger than their young opponents. Let's start with Djokovic, who hasn't been to Australia or the US Open, the Russian told Championat. And he also came to Wimbledon and won it, without points. I don't know what to say here. Maybe if he had played everything, he would have stood first in general. Nadal surprises me too. It comes to Roland Garros and that's it, he has form. The 21-time title winner managed to beat Nadal in six of their 11 meetings and Djokovic just twice in their eight clashes, but had never upset either man at a Grand Slam during his career. And eight years after his retirement, the Russian was in disbelief as the two tennis icons kept on winning at the biggest events. Davy Denko continued, it turns out that young players are so weak? Because I also played with Nadal, and then he won everything. And now there are young. Physically strong, drummers, and he still beats them. It turns out that the tennis of that generation is still stronger than the current one. While Alcaraz had been able to buck the trend and become the youngest ever ATP World No. 1 this year following his run to the U.S. Open title, making him the first teenage Grand Slam champion since Nadal in 2005 the former World No. 3 was baffled by the 19-year-old's recent abdominal injury.